supporting programs to encourage conservation. Champion curiosity, harvest hope. Avery Hall Cares has given local organizations like those and many more thousands of dollars through its referral program. And the program is showing no signs of letting up anytime soon. Maureen Cody is an account executive with Avery Hall Insurance. She joins us along with Dawn Bird. She is the executive director of United Way of Virginia's Eastern Shore. Ladies, thank you for being here this afternoon. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. So Maureen, for those who are not familiar, uh, tell us about Avery Hall Cares. Give us an overview of it. Okay, so the Avery Hall Cares program um, originated when we decided that as an agency, um, being active in the community just wasn't quite enough. We wanted to give back in a monetary way. And so um, we created the Avery Hall Cares program. I can't tell you how many thousands of dollars we have contributed um, to the community, but what I can tell you is each recipient that has received a check has always been very grateful. Um, this program is one in which you spread the, the news, you tell your friends and your neighbors um, to call Avery Hall Insurance for a quote. Um, you do not have to place the coverage, we want you to place it, but it is a referral. And so we receive the referral, the person giving the referral receives a $5 gift. Um, usually a local uh, certificate to, you know, something close by, a cup of coffee or a sandwich. And then $5 goes into our um, Avery Hall Cares recipient. So it is the nonprofit for the quarter um, that we have selected. And then so $5 goes towards, uh, we call it the bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, so $5 goes in the bank for every single referral. Um, and in this case, I think it's just over 280 referrals received. And so that totals up to that check over a little over 1400. And again, that goes to a nonprofit organization that we represent and um, they have been selected for that particular quarter. That is fantastic. That's so wonderful. Okay, so the, the referral spotlight partner for the last quarter of 2022 was the United Way of Virginia's Eastern Shore. Yes, sir, <laughs> and we were very fortunate. But I have to tell you, she doesn't just, this is not the only time Avery Hall has helped us. Yeah. Because actually Maureen was the campaign chair yeah. for 2021, and she made over gold. They've also been sponsors, mm -hmm. which helps because we are so small that we try to keep, and we try to keep our our admin fee is very, very small, right. so sponsorships help pay for p materials or whatever you might need to yeah. make an operation work. And they've been very, very kind at helping us for the last few years as a gold sponsor. So tell us a little bit more about the United Way of Virginia's Eastern Shore. The United Way of Virginia's Eastern Shore is a bit different than many because usually you have a big organization and you have uh, lots of moving parts, and some of, a lot of them have their own programs. We do not have any of our own programs. We only support the nonprofits on the Eastern Shore because they're already doing such a great job with their programs. Yeah. So, and we only have a part-time person, that is me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I can only do but so much. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, you know, the, when, you, when, they, when they started this in 1991, and they looked at what was already available on the shore, what people were already working from the, for the people on the Eastern Shore. And they didn't really felt, feel like they needed to reinvent the wheel. They just needed to way, find a way to make money for them so we can give it away right. to help pay for their programs so they can do or not worry about fundraising themselves. Mm -hmm. So we do fundraising for them a lot. So basically, if I understood what you just said, <laughs> you are the United Way of Virginia's <laughs> Eastern Shore. Well, so, so I, I really wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Way too humble to say something like that, but I, I, then I would assume that these funds came in quite handy. Oh, very handy, very handy. Um, you know, we, we've helped start things, programs like, uh, okay, we didn't start them, we helped fund them. Like the food bank has a program that's called the backpack program. Yeah. And you know, you think about hunger and particularly perhaps even now more so than a lot of times and you you have school programs and people go to you know on the eastern shore they consider that if they have to close the school f for whatever event 
somebody's not going to, people are not going to get fed. Yeah. But they started, the food bank started a program that you, they give you food that you take home on the weekend. So you can have, uh, there's food available because there might not be if they're not in school. Right. That's one of the programs. We helped start, um, they gave funds to help start the shelter for the SPCA. Um, we've certainly been supporting Meals on Wheels forever. Uh, Head Start, which is huge. I mean, you know, the list you could go on. We've helped uh, start the STEM program in Accomack County Schools. You've got places for the money to go. Absolutely. There's always places. We are, we are a lovely place. Aww. Absolutely a lovely place, but That's we incredible. are very poor. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you look at the Virginia statistics, um, the average high school on the Eastern Shore of Virginia makes uh, $42,000 a year, and the average for Virginia is 72. Mm. Um, our working poor is 35%, meaning people that don't qualify under the poverty level mm -hmm. but are working, and if any one thing doesn't work, right. yeah. they can fall in trouble. below that. Well, we are so thankful that uh, we have yeah. you, <laughs> the United Way, the Eastern Shore of Virginia, and Maureen, we are so thankful Thank for you. Avery Hall Thank Cares. Thank, Thank you, you both for coming in this afternoon.